Uh, that looks so good. We're going to make this wonderful pasta dish with peccari pasta with this chicken, yellow bell pepper, tomatoes, just, oh, it's beautiful. It's a very, very sweet sauce. So this chicken we cooked up first, and it's uh -huh. been just shredding in these tomatoes. Because when it slow cooks like that, and it really just starts to break apart, it's beautiful, and it's so soft. So, and the yellow peppers that we use, we use yellow, now yellow peppers don't have as strong as a flavor as the red peppers and the green peppers, but they do add a beautiful color, and they're kind of mild, so it does, does well in the recipe. When you buy them, nice and yellow all the way around, just like this. Very, very important. The stem has to be attached. Not attached, don't even bite, forget it. But it has to be nice and green. And right here, around the shoulders, free from any shriveling whatsoever. When you bring it home, in the refrigerator right away. And if it can stand on your hand like this, that means the walls are nice and thick, so they don't dehydrate, like you said before. Which you definitely want, and you also want to make sure it's heavy for their size, because you want them to be nice and crisp. Beautiful. Cut them open. So what we did, we took some extra virgin olive oil, mm -hmm. then we added the garlic and some onions. Yeah, we have some sweet onions in here. Now, sweet onions are great in this because those pe bell peppers, the yellow ones, are nice and sweet. And then we have those San Marzano tomatoes, also just praised for their sweetness. It's a great sauce. We have and, to spice it up a little bit. And now. the San Marzano tomatoes used the whole peel of San Marzano tomatoes, so we broke it up while it was in there. Yep, and now I'm just going to put in some dried oregano. Oregano is one of those herbs I really okay. just prefer dried. Okay, and then red. red pepper flakes. I always put the red pepper flakes on. I took them first. Okay. Okay, now you can add in the peccari pasta. Now, peccari pasta is a very large pasta, and it's very hearty, too. Very thick yes. walls. And it does take a little bit longer to cook than your regular pasta. Let's put it all in there. Well, there's a lot of us here, and Diane was already by the camera, ready to go. I know, she was the camera before the commercial was over. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper stuff. Mm-hmm. And do you want to put the cheese in here, or do you want to put it on the plate? I think I'm put it on the plate. Okay. Parsley. You want to make sure good? you coat. A little more. That's fine. Okay. You want to make sure you coat all the pasta with this beautiful sauce. Get a little pasta water on there. Okay. Is that spoon too hot? You okay? No, it's okay. Right, I good. did burn myself. The last before. time was too hot. <laughs> well, not burn yourself. The spoon was just hot. All right. I think we're ready I to serve. I think we're ready to go too. Move this around a little bit. Here we go. Family style. Nice big Look plate at like that. this. Big noodles. Big plate. All goes together. You see how that chicken just breaks up? Mm -hmm. Now let me fix this plate a little bit, make it nice and presentable. And we're going to add some shredded mozzarella on here so it just starts to melt. And by the time it's all melted, the anchors, these people coming in right now, will be eating it. <laughs> and there you go. I was wondering if that was shredded Parmesan from over there or shredded mozzarella. Uh, let like, me taste like it to make sure. I'll just, go I'll ahead. Just, just to make sure. <laughs> yes, mozzarella. We're good to go. And there we go. That's wonderful. I'd never heard of peccari pasta. This is like rigatoni on steroids. It's like yes. rigatoni on steroids. <laughs> it's, an it's just a giant noodle. Artisanal cut pasta. They're larger pastas. They're thick walls and the bronze cut, which means they hang a little longer, right? Dry well, a little longer. Well, the great thing about bronze, yeah, they hang a little bit longer and they adhere better to sauce. So even though we just coated that quickly, that sauce is already in those noodles mm. and you can taste it. So where do you find a noodle like that? Because I assume that's not found in your local grocer. You can find them in most local grocery stores. Yeah. 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 They're, they're a little bit more expensive mm. than the regular box pasta, yeah. but worth it. So you can use them on nice occasions like Sunday morning. Packery pasta, good to know. Mm -hmm.